What's up everyone and welcome to this very special lesson on finding perimeter and area in rectangular figures. So we'll start off by asking the question, what is perimeter? <laughs> so for rectangles, we can think of perimeter as measuring the length along the entire outside of the figure. And since perimeter is the outside length of the figure, area is going to be all the space covered inside the figure, and we measure area in square units. So on a rectangular football field, we can think of perimeter as how many footsteps it would take you to walk around the entire outside length of the field, while area would be like finding the entire number of square feet that would have to be covered to mow the grass. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a shot at finding the perimeter of a rectangle with a length of four centimeters and a height of three centimeters. Now I know that the opposite sides in a rectangle are the same length, so I'm gonna go ahead and label that. And now I'm totally ready to find the length of the perimeter of this rectangle. Now I can visualize this by imagining taking the two widths, both three centimeters long each, as well as the two lengths that are both four centimeters each, and adding them all together, three plus three plus four plus four which will give us a perimeter of... Fourteen centimeters, the sum of all of the sides of the rectangle. Now the cool thing is that this works for any rectangle, so we're gonna say that perimeter for any rectangular figure is equal to the sum of all of the sides. Oh yeah! All that means is you take all the sides and you add them up. But what if I wanted to find the area of this figure? Now the width of this rectangle is three centimeters. So let's visualize cutting this into three equal parts horizontally, one centimeter in width each. Then the length is four centimeters long. So we can imagine cutting this vertically into four different sections that are also one centimeter each. And this creates those square units that we were talking about and now we can just count them up to find the area. In this case, this rectangle has 12 square centimeter area. Now, did you notice that the length of four centimeters and the width of three centimeters, when multiplied together, four times three is equal to 12, which was our area. And this is cool because this rule is going to apply to finding the area of any rectangular figure. And we can say that the area is going to equal the length times the width. <laughs> okay, so now that we know this stuff, let's go ahead and apply it to some real life situations. So for our first example, we want to know how many feet of fencing <laughs> would a farmer need if she wanted to enclose a rectangular garden that is 12 feet long and 8 feet wide. Now fencing only goes around the outside of a garden, so we know that this is a perimeter question. So first, I use the given information and I label my diagram. The length is 12 feet, the width is 8 feet, and because it's a rectangle, the opposite sides are the same, so I label those two. And now I want to find the sum of those sides, so I'm going to add 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8. Again, it's the sum of the sides, and now I want to add those four numbers up. That'll get me my perimeter, which is 40 feet of fencing that the farmer would need to build a fence around her garden. So for our next scenario, we're going to join a street artist named Craig, who's painting a mural on the side of a building that's 15 feet long and 10 feet wide. And what we wanna find is exactly how many square feet he's gonna to have to paint in order to complete the mural. Now the key info here is that the length is 15 feet and that the width is 10 feet, and that we wanna find the number of square feet he's going to need to complete the mural. This should let us know that this is an area question, so we have to use the area formula because we want to find the inside of the rectangle and not the outside. So the length is 15 feet, the width 
is 10 feet. And again, using the formula, I multiply length times width. 15 times 10 is equal to 150, the number of square feet that Craig will have to paint to complete the mural. <laughs> cool. Now we're ready for a more advanced example. In this scenario, Maria has constructed a rectangular fence with a perimeter of 200 feet around her backyard swimming pool. And we are given the width of the rectangular enclosure at 60 feet, so I can draw a diagram and label the width on each side of the rectangle at 60. And what I want to find is how many feet is the length of the rectangle. Now since I don't know that number, I'm just going to label it with a question mark. Now that question mark represents the number that's going to be our answer, and we're going to use our knowledge of perimeter to find out what that number is. Now since we already know what p is, we know the perimeter is 200 feet. The question told us that. And we also know that perimeter equals the sum of the sides. That means that if I take those two widths of 60 and add them up, along with whatever those two lengths are, those two question marks, that sum is going to give me the perimeter of 200. Now if I add 60 and 60 together, that sum is equal to 120. And what's left over is what I need to add to it to get to 200. 120 plus 80 would equal 200. So those two question marks together has to equal 80, since 120 plus 80 equals 200. But that represents two sides of the rectangle. So I have to divide that 80 by 2, and we see that each length is going to be 40, since 120 plus 40 plus 40 equals 200, which is the perimeter of the fencing that goes around her swimming pool. So now we can finally answer the question and say that the length of the enclosure is 40 feet long. And in our last example, we're going to join Alex and David, who own a company that makes vinyl skins for smartphone covers. Now we know that each rectangular skin has a length of 6 inches and an area of 18 square inches. So this is an area question. We're going to use that length times width formula. And what we want to find out is the width of each case. That's what we don't know, but we're going to use our knowledge of area to find. We'll just call it a question mark for right now. Now the area, which we know is 18, equals length times width. The length is 6 times the width. Again, that's what I don't know, so let's just call it question mark. Now if I look at this closely, 6 multiplied by some unknown number has to equal 18. Does anybody know what that number is? Now, if you guess 3, you are correct, since the area 18 is equal to the product of 6 and 3. So we can say that the width of each case is 3 inches, and we can visualize why each case has an area of 18 square inches. So again, we answered the question that the width is just 3 inches, and we are done.